Hello and welcome to the Museum of Contemporary Art Leipzig. I am Martin. And I am Andra. And today we are going to talk about the exhibition um, Appointment X. Exactly. So due to the um, restrictions of the coronavirus pandemic, the collaboration between the museum, local artists, local networks, but also public places and neighborhoods um, has become increasingly important. So the starting point of the exhibition is the following question. How can culture made be accessible to a larger circle of people? What types of meetings are needed and where could they take place outside of a museum? Uh, the exhibition asks the question of how to, turn down, to tear down the walls of the museum. And the Neubau is actually the perfect place to do that because it has um, a very dynamic architecture. The walls can be moved back and forth and you can create very diverse spaces uh, adapted to each exhibition. Yes, um, the artworks um, shown here in the exhibition invites to a new approach to art and it's, it is made by the concept of um, radical fun. So the concept of radical fun um, refers to a project made by the English um, architect Cedric Price. Um, the, um, yes, the um, Fun Palace um, is his best known project and it was um, designed in 1961. The Fun Palace is some, um, or the idea of this Fun Palace is to be a multifunctional building um, to, and designed to host all um, shows of, and arts of all kinds. And it was made with, in collaboration with the um, theatre. Um, yeah, so it was a theatre regisseur, um, yes. John Littlewood. Yeah. Um, therefore, um, in, ex in the exhibition Appointment X, uh, you will find artworks um, which are created uh, from interaction with different people or with which you can interact in the space. And you will see the results of uh, the spectators' participation to the show. Uh, you have artworks which you can dress, uh, exactly. In which you can play, for or which example, you can tennis, eat. <laughs> which you can eat, and uh, artworks where you can dance. Exactly. So oh, um, maybe you forgot. We forgot something before ah, we enter. Exactly. <laughs> That's in order to very enter important. in this exhibition, uh, you get a stamp instead of a ticket. So. With the title Appointment X. And so then now let's go to have some radical fun. Yes. <laughs> So, um, the first artwork uh, we want to talk with you about is this installation here, which is called Fail. Fail comes from Fine Arts Institute Leipzig, and it's an artist collective who work for this exhibition uh, in particular, or who in general works with uh, different communities and different uh, initiatives. This time they work with the um, uh, locals of a village uh, close to Leipzig, which is called Talwitz. Yes, and with the um, youth, youth, youth prison in... With the a way, youth prison, in, yeah. Um, yes, here close to Leipzig. Mm -hmm. And uh, together um, they created uh, different workshops and events, uh, discussions um, and artworks. <laughs> Yeah, that there was this project um, last in, in, in August of 2020, and they did it in Talbitz. So Talbitz is a small village um, close to Leipzig. Exactly. And it's, it's a place without any art institution, without any art museum. So it was something yeah. new for the people living in Talbitz. Yeah, and they installed this space in the, in the market main market, square. market, in the market square. square. And, um, yeah, here on the wall you can see, for example, the artworks that were created yes, there were, during um, these workshops. Yes, several of these um, kind of market huts in the, on this, um, in the village square. Yeah. And in every of these um, spaces something different was happening. Yeah. But there were, for example, some art workshops. Um, and here you can see the results of this. Um, art workshops, but there were also lectures, uh, music, there were a lot of things going on. A lot on. of activities, yeah. 
And the artworks that you can see on this wall, for example, are very diverse. Uh, they are uh, created by the participants of the workshops. So by people who would not consider themselves artists. Um, and this begs the question, uh, who is an artist, uh, who is not an artist, who decides what is art, and who decides who should be in an art institution or who should not be in an art institution. Um, then we come to this hut here, and um, this is a place for bad ideas. Um, but then again, what is a bad idea? Exactly, yeah. Um, and in my opinion, it's also very related to the concept of um, failing. Of failing. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's the abbreviation of Fine Art Institute Leipzig, as you say, but it's um, also very connected to the idea of failing um, mm -hmm. because it's something natural and um, who decides actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, what, uh, when we are failing. Or yeah, actually, or what, what the collective says is that we are always failing. And, and fail is part of our life, and fail is part of making art. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we can only succeed through failing. Um, yeah, here the visitors are invited to write down their bad ideas and to put them in this um, hut. Yeah. And then maybe uh, Martin, yeah, emblem, want to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, say something about this here. <laughs> so this is the emblem of Talwitz, and it was um, they proudly gave it to us to um, show it in the exhibition. It used to be, I mean, it stands in the mayor's office. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So um, it's, a, it's a big thing. <laughs> yeah. As you can see. It. So. And yeah, they also, um, as you can, yeah. for example, maybe. Show this banner. Mm -hmm. um, kann man es mit der Kunst übertreiben? And it's very um, related to the idea of, of if it's um, exaggerated to have such a big, a quite big um, art festival in such a small place. Um, but um, the people really um, enjoyed. Um, they really enjoyed this um, art festival, and it was a huge success. So a lot of people. Um, came to the opening here in June, mm -hmm. and the people um, at the Fail Collective is um, considering to make um, yeah, uh, another project with the people in Tarsus. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, you, you really can see that um, this format reached the people, and that's um, a very important thing, that, yeah. that, that art goes out from the museum and tries to reach people that um, of people or people or places that um, yeah. that and don't have uh, actually the, such a big uh, access art, to the access art institution, or the exactly. art museum or yeah. concerts, whatever. Yeah. This is exactly what they are doing here. So these two members from um, Pay, they go on the street in the center of Leipzig, which is a very commercial area, and they advertise the exhibition and they invite people to talk about art. Uh, in this center, so people always think that they invite them to try a product or um, to talk about a shop maybe, but actually they invite to an art institution. And it's also interesting because um, um, actually the, the museum is uh, a space which is not so often accessible to everyone who just walks on the street. So um, this is another another approach that they have in order to bring people together and to bring people to, to the museum and to share experiences and yeah, interact. Yeah, basically the, the idea yeah. of this exhibition. Yeah, exactly. And since we talk about interaction and having fun yeah. together, um, maybe we go yeah, into this other room. Um, Super colorful room, a lot of things. <laughs> yes, are going on here. it's uh, the um, Paul Sater Dante installation, and they are a theater group based in Stuttgart. Yes. And they are um, professional actors, but also amateur actors. And uh, they have this uh, concept that you do not need a um, um, theater building, a stage, stage or yeah. special lights to make theater. 
You just need a set of tools and ideas and people who want to make it. Therefore, yes, they also co work with the people in the neighborhood, so that's uh, exactly that's something specific. And, yeah, and yeah, and they created this um, toolbox. So it's yeah. uh, actually this room where we are is the whole toolbox because um, the visitors are invited to try on <laughs> some of the costumes. So yes, you need costumes also to make theater. And yeah, maybe Martin, do you want to be eaten by a crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here visitors can have fun and can interact with the space yes. and um, can create their own uh, theater stage. Yes. And uh, one last thing that I would like to say about this um, installation is that they made this wall, the um, uh, Volkstheater Rampe, where the visitors are invited to choose places where they want to make theater. So as you see here, there was a big participation of our visitors for this exhibition. They wrote down their ideas, they contributed with drawings, they marked spaces where they want to make theater. And yeah, this is now part of the artwork. Okay, now let's go further on. And I will ask you, do you want to stick with me? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> so um, now we are here in the um, installation, in the room, um, where the installation made by Doris Zilsk and, and, and Anke Philipp is mm -hmm. presented. So um, these two are um, two Leipzig-based artists and they are working on several different spatial concepts. Mm -hmm. So... Um, and here I see it's... Yes, um, yeah. everything in this room is... Sticky. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, for their contribution here in the exhibition, um, the two artists have researched um, various sticky experiences and all the associations that surround them and which are, um, are concentrated in this space now. Um, they are referring to Jean-Paul Sartre and to the words um, published in his um, essay um, of 1943, Being and Nothingness. So Sartre wrote, the sticky is docile, but at the same time that I think I possess it, it suddenly possesses me in a strange inversion. So everything, yeah, Andra is showing you. <laughs> yeah, you have this table, which is made by syrup. Yes, right? it's a uh, syrup. And then and this... then you can or people are invited to modify yeah. <laughs> and to contribute yeah. um, to um, to this artwork. So as I said, you can take a noodle from this spaghetti yeah. sculpture. Um, and by the way, here um, we have noodles, here we have some sticky sushi rice, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Which is... Yes, yeah. now we're um, almost at the end of the exhibition, so it's um, the way... Now everything is looking a bit um, more consumed. Yeah, and very messy here. I see that people chewed chewing gum and played on the table and created a little monster out of this. But yeah, but you can do something you normally can't, like put a, put a chewing gum into somebody's hair. I mean, in this case, it's a wig. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, now it's allowed. And definitely here in this installation, you can do things you can never do in a in an exhibition. And so what this, about this, this wall uh, painting? Wall. Yeah. Yes, I mean it's looking three dimensional. So um, yeah, <laughs> but it's um, it's also sticky and it's jam. Yeah. Ah, it's actually gem. Yeah, like peach. So peaches, apricot, um, strawberry. Forest fruits. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
so a lot of sweet stuff here but don't <laughs> lick the wall <laughs> But um, yeah, I can um, tell you a little bit about my experiences here as um, art mediation. So the museum is offering that art um, talks um, always on Wednesday, um, Saturday and Sunday. And a lot of things happened here. So one time there was a little boy with his um, mama and he literally put, um, yes, a lot of spaghetti <laughs> here on the table. <laughs> and all the chewing gum and they also start to stick the spaghetti on the wall here <laughs> okay yes i was a bit overwhelmed by <laughs> by that reaction but actually but they I, had a lot of fun but they had a lot of fun yeah. so why not yeah this is what this room is uh, meant for yeah what about these balls here are they, they will, yeah, also they, sticky? Yes, and yeah, there's there was no performance by my desires, <laughs> but <yeah. laughs> okay. No, there there are these wrecking balls, and they are sticky, uh -huh. and okay. it's the uh, it's actually glue um, used for these um, fly traps. Ah, okay, so they are fly traps, but actually it's uh, sand on them. Yeah, but uh, I think there is the, this specific glue, right? Yes, yes, exactly. So it's, yeah, it's a, but it turned to be a trap for sand. And for the visitors. And for the visitors, of <laughs> course. Yeah. So maybe we... Maybe it's time to... It's time, time to, to dance. It's time to <laughs> dance. Yes. So let's... So, yeah, we will soon go to the disco room. <laughs> Okay, um, now in autumn 2021, music clubs and venues are starting to um, reopen their indoor activities. But yeah. um, last year or last winter during this um, long, long, very long lockdown, yeah. um, clubs closed, people couldn't go to dance and musicians um, actually couldn't um, play their music. So yeah. they um, had to find new ways to um, reach people. And the Trotzdem Year at Barcelona was one of um, these streamings um, they made. Yeah. So Barcelona is a tapas bar um, in mm -hmm. Leipzig. And till um, 2015, they, um, they had this Sunday afternoon um, sessions where um, DJs um, that couldn't play in the clubs um, had the chance actually to um, show their music to an audience. So they um, restart with that idea and um, actually it was the Leipzig musician and um, visual artist um, CFM. She initiated um, that streaming project. Yeah, and there were about uh, 40 streams which were yes. uh, made uh, throughout this period uh, with different DJs. Yeah, I mean, there was um, the most um, or the, the best known clubs and venues in Le Leipzig um, took part and there also the crews, not only the um, clubs. Yeah. Um, for example, um, there was the Noch Besser Leben um, Institut für Zukunft, um, to name yeah. two. And uh, just to mention what uh, our colleague is showing now yes. are the notes from the streams. So they, uh, they had these indications when to talk, when to start playing, when to take a break, when to greet the audience. And all this is part of the backstage and part of uh, creating these streams. Yes, and um, they were Okay, C um, CFM, she created this program. There was, um, yeah. for example, um, at um, in, on the Wednesdays, there was um, open mic or discussions. Yeah. And um, then um, there, in the weekend, there was this um, 28 um, hours streaming with, um, mm -hmm. yeah, with music, club music, actually. Yeah. DJs and DJs playing um, club tracks. Yeah. And yeah, and the people, the audience could buy the ticket, uh, mm -hmm. a ticket on Tix for Gigs, and yeah. um, yes, the, and the money um, they they used the money actually to pay also um, these artists that that needed to be supported they had an income <laughs> to pay the yeah. rent and and eat. So um, yes, that yeah. was maybe something special because um, some of these um, streams, I mean during Corona times, there mm -hmm. were a lot of streams, but. 
they actually got paid too, so that's something. Okay, that's something very important. And uh, yeah, here we can yes, enter. Yes, that's Oh, maybe, okay, maybe, no. We can enter slowly the disco room. And here we have a schedule. There were, um, like each DJ was exactly. for about one week, part of the program. And yeah, now let's yeah, have that's, some that, that's fun, good. let's dance. Let's go inside. Thank you so much for yes. following us. And I hope you had fun like we did. Yeah. And check our website if you want to know more.